Hey guys, welcome to the Django REST Framework tutorial series. In this video, I am going to discuss about authentication in Django REST Framework. So let's look into the each one. I will get some more idea about it. The first thing is, what are the different types of the authentication classes? So the, the super class of all authentication classes is the base authentication class, which is there under the REST Framework dot authentication module. So this base authentication class generally have the four different types of the subclasses. The first one is the basic authentication, next one is the session authentication and the third one is the token authentication which is very important and the last one is the remote user authentication. These are all like four different types of authentication classes which we have it into the REST, Django REST framework. And just for your information, the basic authentication is actually validating the username and password. Okay, when you have the user and password to be logged in, that is like validation is called the basic authentication. Session authentication is like once you logged in, right? Validating the whether this session is valid or not, something like that. After login only, right? So next one is token authentication and remote user authentication. So these two authentications are little important when you deal with uh, external systems. For example, if you take the token authentication, so we need to pass the token key when you want to validate the authentication key. Sometimes that token key will be refreshed every uh, particular period of time. So if you go to the remote user authentication, this is like validating the external user authentication from the different systems when you're working with the large projects. So the overall, these are the four different types of the, what I can say, authentication classes, which are very important when you want to validate the whether the user is like valid or not and just also one for your information so uh, I'm going to tell you something here how to set these authentications how to implement the authentication in my Django REST framework if you ask that question generally there is a three ways we can do it we can set uh, authentication at the global level global level in the sense only one-time settings that can be enough uh, that we do it into the settings.py and the second thing is that we can also set the authentication in this specific view class, I mean class based level. For example, you have any API view class, in that also we can set the authentication. And the next one is the specific view at function based views. When you are using the function based views, we can use the decorator. So what I mean to say that we can use these authentications at the settings.py, that is at the global level, and the class and functions, both are views only, but we use at class based levels okay like variable names and uh, specific view that is a function based level we use the decorators so remember this is how we do the settings authentication it's up to you for example you want to apply all the authentication techniques i mean apply the authentication techniques for the entire views we can go for the global level right if you are very specific to the particular urls or particular endpoint urls you want to target so then you can go for the like uh, either specific view class based view or specific view function based reviews with the decorators. Let's look into the uh, coding part. So before going to start coding, I'm going to show you something here. Authentication.py. This is the file which is actually there in the Django REST framework code itself. So if you look at the uh, this file and you will see some interesting things like uh, base authentication is the main class which is a parent class under that we have the basic authentication and also we have session authentication and also we have something called token authentication and last more is remote user authentication so the base authentication is the super class which is a parent class for all these classes okay so why these many classes because we have different types of authentication concepts right so basically if you want to authenticate username password you can go for basic authentication and uh, just like a session authentication then session authentication itself and if you want to go for token authentication and this is basically for the client should be authenticated by passing the token key in the authorization HTT to pay header so look at here the token will be there in this uh, format here authentication token they give an example also right and also there is uh, some functions in the each and every class okay which is defined here 
So remote user authentication is like to use the set of your web server to perform the authentications, right? So what I mean to say that this is an actual class uh, of Django REST framework to provide the different authentication concepts. So that is what you are seeing it here. You can see your library framework, Python framework version 3.9 and REST framework authentication, PY token authentication. So let me move on to the uh, actual coding part. We'll get more idea about how practically we can implement the authentications. You can also see that Django REST framework documentation itself. If you go to the API guide and if you click on the authentication, so same concept, okay, whatever we discussed, same thing. But if you want to implement the authentications, we have here this REST framework code we need to add. So basic authentication, session authentications. Now you can see already I launched one URL here. Uh, I am not logged in here, right? But what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to add this piece of code in my project so basically we need to i am setting the this authentication at global level later we see at class level or like function based views level we'll get some more idea about so i'm going to the visual studio code and go to the settings.py okay and uh, here we need to add generally this is the code because we are already having the rest framework so i'm just going to add this piece of code okay so this is this one I don't want because we already have the rest framework which is the main dictionary in the settings.py same thing which I'm going to use it here right so okay I'm going to save this if you see here if you click this and you don't see any uh, differences right because what I mean to say that when you're going to add the authentication so we need to add the the permissions as well so permissions if you want to add at a global level we need to take this are uh, like is authenticated this piece of code we need to add rest framework dot permissions dot is authenticated or allow any anything is fine so if you want to specify it so i'm just going to take this uh, just adding the another line of code so here we need to add okay and we need to put the comma so this should be fine if i am not wrong yes this would be fine see this um, the dictionary uh, when you're adding this one the, we need to add the key as well right because i'm adding the only value i'm going to the again here so we need to add okay so i need to copy this code i i copied incorrectly so what i'm going to do right i'm just going to copy the correct uh, one so this is the key and this is the value now i'm just going to save this file okay and uh, we'll see it. so yeah and let me run the project again so go to the browser and just click on it and you see that now it is asking the username and password so we need to provide the username previously it was not asking now it is checking the authorization is required at this moment right i am just going to provide admin admin so now this is the basic authentication session as, as a Based, this is a basic authentication and session authentication which we are looking into now, right? And also, if you want to apply the authentication at uh, class based uh, views, so this is the way, right? So, authentication classes, and we can take it up. So, previously, this one at your setting at the class uh, settings.py globally. So, what it will happen, right? When you set that global level. Uh, tomorrow if you don't want to use authentication for the specific class based view then this is not the preferred way to use at global level so we have to go for the specific class based level or like specific request level so in this case what i'm going to do right i'm going to take this piece of code here this is actually like we are setting at the class level right take this code and go to the Visible Studio Code and check is there any view which you are referring to. For example, I have list list products view, or like I have the product detail view. Anything which you want to, if you want to apply on the mixins, we can apply it. Or if you want to apply on the generics, we can do it. Anything is fine. So let me go to the anything randomly. I am just going to add it here, like list products view and i'm just going to add this session but this session authentication basic authentication we need to uh, take it from the 
um, authentication sub module itself let me copy this piece of code and even I want these two so but is authenticated we already added in the one of the session uh, uh, if you check the one of the sessions which I already added so going to this uh, so and I am adding at the here so let it be so I think is authenticated we already yeah, yeah we already added the is authenticator so I don't I don't want to add it here okay so I'm just done here so what I will do right okay this we are on I'm not going to use this um, these two at this moment global level I am putting as a comment and I'm going to use I'm going to call this one from the uh, for the the view which are the view we actually created the uh, this authentication okay so this is a list products right I just want to see the URL which URL we are using it right just I'm going to check this okay so product list only so what I will do right I will uh, go to this so I will open the new window freshly uh, so let me see here I'm just going to click so products okay uh, and in the products okay okay the first one is a product list right so which I am going to use it here let me see now okay see I got an error here authentication credentials were not provided to access this file right so what we can do right we need to provide the login details then it we can able to log now now I'm going to log into this uh, provide this admin admin just click on the login button now I'm, I'm able to log in right see that it is very clear we are going to authenticate whether the user is uh, valid user login is valid or not as simple as okay so you can do that one as the global level you can do that one with the a specific request level like view level okay so and also like right now I have done with the class based level right if you are if you already have the function based reviews like this list product it is a function based reviews right now it is a ease authenticated only but you can copy this code from the documentation itself see these are the decorators we have the specific decorators for the uh, even authentication classes so go to the code now and uh, here you can just add this piece of code enough so here the, there is a decorator issue because we are not imported the decorator so all the decorators are there in the rest framework so you need to add the here the required decorator so what is the decorator name is the authentication classes you just uh, type authentication classes control save then should this should be fine right so that's how it works guys okay so you can use this one with the like function basal level like here I used function basal levels with the decorators class basal levels like you can pass the variable names or global level the one which you have seen here this is the global level we can set there are three ways we can do it it depends on the what is your requirement that's how it works okay so this is a like basic authentication session authentication which you have seen in the next session I am going to discuss about the token authentication so that is a step by step we'll get an idea how we can do the token authentication okay so thank you so much for watching this video i will come up with the new video thank you